Antonella Alba is a reporter over at Rai News 24. She was attacked earlier at an anti-green pass protest in Rome. Antonella, good to have you on the show. Uh, first off, I want to ask you how you are uh, after the confrontation and explain to us how the events unfolded. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your invitation. Uh, I'm so, I'm okay. I'm so and so. My arm hurts a little bit. You know, and during my career, I was uh, involved in uh, many protests, like uh, students and workers. But uh, last night, I was uh, particularly um, involved because I was uh, actually uh, working uh, on uh, on this as we call um, Novax people, no? Novax people, people that doesn't, uh, don't accept vac vaccine and don't accept, uh, as your service report uh, was saying, uh, the, our Green Pass, which is a, a, a government uh, um, certificate uh, that indicates if you are or less vaccinated. And when I um, approached the, the, uh, the protest, I found around me uh, kind of uh, um, 150 people that were um, blocking the traffic. And in between these people, uh, you have to say, you have to know that uh, there's um, lots of uh, uh, different components of our population which means, for example, young people, also adults, old people. And a part of these people um, is also represented by uh, a new extreme right movement, and we, uh, which we call Forza Nuova. So these people are particularly angry. So this, uh, I've, I've in, in between these specific people, I found um, some of them very angry about my simple question, which I used to uh, make when I report, which is, why are you here? When okay. I uh, asked that, they started to be uh, a little bit uh, like um, not uh, uh, very pleased to have me there. We are living in Italy in moments of uh, this kind uh, journalists, as I represented the public service, uh, which I work for, is, as you said, RAI, the National Broadcasting, uh, are not liking them much our uh, participation on this field when they protest. Okay. Because they feel not represented enough. I mean, I think you asked a fairly, fairly simple question, basic question. It was your right to do so. Um, I want to ask you about this. I mean, there are many Italians out there that are not happy with these uh, new regulations, whether you call them uh, no-vaxxers, um, uh, Green Pass uh, resistance, or Forza Nova, like you said. But the government out there has, has, has basically had a, had a zero tolerance policy for any uh, protests or disruptions caused by these protests. Give us an update on how they're going. Um, they're trying to find the right way. They're trying to um, give the population enough trusting uh, in, in, in the way they're uh, handling the, the pandemic. They're trying to uh, uh, persuade people to be vaccinated. Now in Italy, we have uh, uh, the 70 uh, the 70% of the population is uh, vaccinated but it is interesting because the in the meantime vaccination uh, uh, is becoming to be um, uh, like like to say forced from uh, for young people uh, kids uh, from 12 years to 18 my son is 14, so I had to vaccinate it because uh, I thought, not that I had, I wanted to, because I think, like uh, the government, the minister, we think that uh, vaccine is the way to go out about this emergency uh, pandemic, about this emergency 
um, period, which is which has no mm, no example before. Okay. Um, today uh, they they started a new protest. Uh, we were waiting for a new protest uh, from from them from the uh, the Novak No Green Pass. Um, but uh, I've, re I've just read ANSA, which is our main or um, press organ, that it's been a flop. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and and uh, uh, unfortunately, we still have people because this is the problem. But it's not an Italian problem. Uh, we still have people that uh, um, get COVID. Yeah. That's the problem. Definitely. Definitely, I do appreciate. It. All right, Antonio Alba, I'm afraid we're going to leave it there. It's it's good to hear that you're doing better, and and please please keep up the uh, the good work with the reporting. Thank you, I appreciate it.